Good morning, world. And how are you today? Today's a little bonus footage. It's gonna be a tour of our Jayco Whitehawk 24 RDB. It's a 2017 model. I figured it's important we get this done now because things are changing fast on Darius Drives. And if I don't do it tonight, I might not get it at all. And I really want this for myself four or five years down the road so I can reflect back on where we started. You ready? Let's do this. Start with the outside. Jayco Whitehawk, 24 RDB as we've already discussed. Dual axle, black and silver wheels. Outdoor waterproof speakers, the Furion. Outdoor plugs. Outdoor cable and satellite plug. Go around to the back side. It's got the arm. There's this. You can then set up your outdoor RVQ and then like that off of it. It has a spare tire, the ladder. It is solar compatible, but I've never set it up with solar myself. On the driver's side, we have our tank flush. Then you have your city water connection, pretty standard. Your cable input, again, something I've never used. And your power. Then you have your drain for your black and your gray water down below on this side. Of course, all four stabilizing jacks. And it is a dual slide unit. Uh, you get one storage bin underneath this slide. So this one here on the side can be accessed inside the trailer or externally on the trailer. And you get a full pass-through storage, one on this side, one on the other side. So this bin here is a full pass-through bin all the way to the other side. I usually have my generator, a couple chairs, leveling blocks, all that. And all the way through to the other side, you will see carpet and a second fridge. Now this is just a tiny little fridge. Again, not sure of the cubic footage, but it's like one of those little beer fridges. Okay, so now you see it all opened up. This is the one slide on the kitchen side. The power awning fully extended, as well the outdoor LED lights for your door lights. Then on the left side or driver's side, you now have your second awning, which as you can see is quite a bit larger. The other one's about a two foot. This one I'd say is probably about a four foot slide out. As you can see. Yeah. Well, you start by entering by the stairs. It does have the screen. One of the things I like about this screen, you'll see it has this little tab. So you can actually open it from the inside. Let me show you here. So typical RVs, you'd have to slide this open to do that. Now, you literally can keep that plastic shield closed and open it. Right as you walk in the door to your left, you have all your controls. You have all your tank controls. You have your hot water heater for electric gas. You also have your electric water pump. And of course, all your fill sensors. Then you have these, which are your main three breakers for lights. And then you have your slides and your awning. Then we have all of our storage right down this side. So we have storage container one. In the second drawer, this is where I keep spare jackets, towels, cloths, etc. The drawer below that one is just spare stuff. Then down below everything, read at the front, is our inverter. That's of course where we get all our fuses. Next, straight into our left, we open this door, we walk into our bathroom, in which we have our mirror with medicine cabinet, sink, and bottom covered there. Then we have our shower. It's a full corner shower, which is kind of nice. And as you see, full stand up. And then if you got your toilet, just your standard flush toilet. Over to our right, we got our full kitchen. This is slide out number one right here. 
when this slide is in it butts pretty much right up against the island for the kitchen we do have a full stand-up fridge I don't know what the cubic footage is on it but it does a perfect job double sink nice deep double sink which is nice also has that and the sprayer then we have RV size microwave our stove and oven I have one cupboard on this side this cupboard is where I put my bolts bowls <laughs> and plates and all that kind of fun stuff then in the kitchen you also have three drawers top drawer second drawer and the bottom one then you turn around from there and on your island side you end up with three more cupboards okay so the first one second one is my pots and pans and the third one is where I put my garbage bin next is our TV TV goes around the center island okay above the TV two cabinets below the TV is just this little storage area that's where your stereo is your stereo does run off the TV independently it'll run the inside speakers as well as the outside speakers and then two shallow cupboards here and on the left side of the trailer or driver side of the trailer this is the big slide out so it's a full u-shaped dinette it's got the LED lights up above it's also got the little kitchen dinette light a table that folds down underneath these chairs is full storage all the way back to the back wall so there's also one on this side as well and then this here you can get underneath again it's warm in here your heater control is all right here up near your bathroom it does come with air conditioning the air conditioning is ducted through the ceilings to see all the different ceiling spots and your furnace is ducted in through the floor also does have this skylight type thing right above your sink which can also be closed in case it's too bright you have indoor speakers you have two which one's there one is there then as you come straight through from the TV this is the spot you end up with a queen size bed two more speakers for watching TV as well as another air conditioning duct. You have one, two storage cabinets above, and then you have the closed cupboards on one side, which is a little bit of a coat hanger, and two shelves. We're gonna go around to the other side now. As you see, this one's quite a bit larger, as well as the top cabinet, again, under the bed storage with little cupboard drawers here, as you see. Two on each side. Two 110 plugs beside your bed, as well as two USB ports. And just 110 plugs on that side of the bed. Oh. And then at the front of the trailer, we have a set of lights for right here. We have a single 12 volt battery. We have dual 20 pound propane tanks, as well as a light for hooking up and your power lift again pretty basic stuff but I gotta show it all I hope you enjoyed our tour our first ever tour let me know below how you think I should do better just because whew, mosquitoes are getting real bad I'm out of here see ya